Whether you're cruising through the Caribbean or island hopping on a budget, a worry-free day at an all-inclusive Caribbean resort just might be your best bet. Hi everyone, Vanessa here and welcome to Passport Pages. And in today's video, I'm reviewing the best Caribbean resort day passes, which offer all-day access to resort amenities like pools, loungers, activities, food and drinks, and best of all, the beach. All for a fraction of what it would normally cost to spend a night there. So I'll be sharing what makes these 10 the best Caribbean resort day passes, as well as the prices and what's included with each. So let's skip the pricey shore excursions and check out some resorts. So let's kick things off with my favorite island, Aruba, and two wonderful day pass options, beginning with the Renaissance Aruba Resort and Casino. So as many cruisers know, Aruba is a big stop for Southern Caribbean cruises, and one of the main draws here is the flamingos. Yes, Aruba Flamingo Beach is a thing. It's really taken off in popularity in the past five years or so with Instagram, but you should know that they do not freely roam all over the island just on this one beach, Aruba Flamingo Beach, located on a private island called Renaissance Island, belonging to, you guessed it, the Renaissance Resort and Casino. And if you couldn't care less about flamingos, there's so much more than that. The island is 40 acres of beautiful white sand beach and some of the clearest water in the world, and is surrounded by a rock barrier, which makes the water even more calm, which is perfect for swimming and snorkeling. It is a little bit rocky when you first walk in, but once you get past those initial rocks and coral, it's very smooth. And one of the great options to enjoy all this is with a day pass. A day pass to this resort currently costs $125 per person and includes a boat trip to and from the island, either breakfast or lunch, depending on when you visit, plus a drink, access to some of the water activities, and use of their fitness center. Now, a couple of important things for you guys to note. Only a limited number of passes are sold each day to outside guests to prevent overcrowding. And it also depends on occupancy. So if the resort is 80% full, they likely won't give out any day passes for the day at all. So how to purchase it? You used to have to go very early in the morning to the reception desk, wait in line, and hope you could grab one. But now you can purchase one online. They have an entire section of their website dedicated to it. And day pass tickets are released online at 7 a.m. for the following day. So again, you'll need to do it a day in advance. Usually they sell about 30 passes and they go within minutes. So set your alarm clock if you have to, and you usually have a better chance on a weekday. So it is a bit of work to get a day pass here, but it used to be harder and it's so worth it to enjoy a nice resort in beautiful Aruba. Which is why I have a second option for you with the Ryu Palace Aruba. Once again, located right on Palm Beach, for $130 per adult, you can have a day pass from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., which will include unlimited beverages, both regular drinks and alcoholic as well, and you can enjoy all the bars, the pool and swim bars, included lunch and unlimited snacks, free use of the beach, pools, and jacuzzis, as well as all beach and poolside loungers and chairs, non-motorized water sports, and access to their outdoor showers and changing rooms which is especially nice if you're cruising and want to change at the end of the day before getting back on the ship. And speaking of cruisers, the resort is located 15 minutes from the cruise port and a taxi costs about $15 for the ride or you could save money and take the bus, which is only a couple dollars, and that stops at all the resorts along the way. So I've talked about this resort in more detail in my top 10 Ryu Resorts video, but just a brief overview. This is very much a fun and social all-inclusive resort right in the middle of the high-rise district on Palm Beach. And if you wanna hit downtown Arendestad for some shopping and dining, maybe grab some souvenirs, that's a 20-minute drive. But Palm Beach is all 
always beautiful, and the Ryu Palace sits on a beautiful stretch with palapas and loungers scattered between palm trees, just a beautiful spot to relax and spend the day. And their main pool is huge, with submerged loungers and high top seats around the swim up bar, so plenty of in pool seating and around the pool as well. So if you're cruising or island hopping, this pass is great if you're looking to get a taste of beautiful Aruba, but with more of a drinking and party vibe. You'll definitely have a fun time here. Now to the most well-known day pass you can get in the Caribbean, a pass to the Atlantis on Paradise Island in the Bahamas, which is like the Disney of the Caribbean with tons of fun things to do. And I've talked before about how the Atlantis can be pretty pricey, so this is perfect if you want to try out the water park but don't want to pay for a resort stay or the expensive food. And you can book their Atlantis AquaVenture package right on their website for $150 for the day beginning at 8 a.m. And that will include the water park aqua venture, the marine habitats, the beach, just everything to have a super fun day. And it also includes lounge chairs and towels. And currently you will need to provide negative COVID results that are less than five days old. So just be prepared for that. Now I do have a few tips for you guys for this one. Most day trippers just focus on Atlantis, but if you have the time, try to explore some of the rest of Paradise Island, especially the hike to Nassau Lighthouse, which will give you gorgeous views along the entire coast. Also, of all the water park attractions, the underwater shark walk is the most famous and best in my opinion, so definitely don't miss out on that. And lastly, there isn't any public transportation to take you from the Nassau cruise port to Paradise Island. So the local bus or jitney will only take you as far as the ferry terminal and you can either take a ferry or taxi from there. If you decide to take the ferry, it's a 15 minute ride and it leaves from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and only costs $3 each way. And the nice thing is a guide will give you a brief history and overview of the attractions on the way over. And then once you get there, it's just a 10 minute walk from the ferry dock to Atlantis. But my most important tip, make sure you bring cash for the ferry because you'll have to tip those tour guides and most people either forget or don't know to do that. So grab some cash before you go. But other than that, it's a super fun way to spend the day. Millions of guests just stop by the property for the day. So they really have the system down and it's a much cheaper alternative to enjoy all the fun that Atlantis has to offer. But if you'd like to enjoy a more low-key day right on Paradise Island, I do have an alternative for you with the Warwick Paradise Island All-Inclusive, which has a deluxe day pass that's $105 per adult, and you can book it by calling or emailing the resort directly. It's available from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m., so perfect hours if you're cruising, and your day pass will cover gratuity, access to their private beach lagoon, their beautiful pool overlooking NASA, a harbor, lunch and all beverages, including beer, wine, and liquor, beach towel service, chase lounges around the pool or on the beach, and free Wi-Fi. And I've talked before about how nice and upscale this property is, great white sand beach with a really big lagoon pool, and definitely more of a relaxed and intimate vibe than the other resorts on Paradise Island, especially since it's adults only, 16 and up, and that includes the day passes as well. So maybe not as much fun as Atlantis, but if you're looking for more of a relaxed day on Paradise Island, this is a great day pass option for you guys. And before we leave Nassau, I'd like to quickly mention Melia Nassau Beach All-Inclusive, which is a resort that tends to fly under the radar, and they did have a day pass that was $160 per adult, but it is currently closed and set to reopen in the beginning of 2023 for a complete renovation. And I'm sure you're wondering why I'm even mentioning it, but this is a great option to keep in mind for future cruises and day trips or just to stay in general. They're spending a hundred million dollars and completely redoing all the outdoor spaces, common areas, bars and restaurants, just a complete overhaul. So I'm very excited to see how it turns out and I think it will be a great day pass spot and I really hope it remains a hidden gem just between you and I.
Next, we have a day pass for Sugar Bay Resort in beautiful Barbados, and the pass is $120 per adult and is good between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And your pass will include lunch, drinks, snacks, afternoon tea, which is big in Barbados, and then of course, use of all the facilities, including the pool, beach chairs, and non-motorized water sports, and there is an on-site activity center. Barbados is a big stop for Caribbean cruises, and the resort is a convenient 10 minutes from the cruise port and 30 minutes from the airport. So a little bit about the property. It sits on a beautiful stretch of South Coast Beach and was renovated in 2015 with a modern island style, and the property expands over five and a half acres. But it's actually very private, like a hidden oasis almost, located well away from the main coast road, and the whole vibe is very much tropical elegance, beautiful style and decor, but you won't feel uncomfortable. It's not too formal, just very peaceful and pretty. And the highlight is definitely the beautiful beach. It's like a postcard with very calm, protected water, so you can definitely get some swimming in for the day, and lots of sun loungers and hammocks so you can relax as well. So this all-inclusive is definitely a hidden gem, especially for day passes, so be sure to check it out when stopping in Barbados. Now let's take a look at the San Juan Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino in Puerto Rico. And this pass is $60 for the day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you get full beach and pool access, loungers, towels, and access to showers and changing rooms, which will even have shampoo and conditioner in there for you. Now because of the lower cost, food and drinks are not included, but you do get a $20 food credit if you decide to purchase any meals for the day. So a little bit about the resort and what makes it so special. It's located right on Condado Beach, which is about 10 minutes from Old San Juan, and the two pools are really nice as well. The shallow pool is about four feet, and then there's a regular pool with swim-up bar and a really fun water slide. Just very pretty pools with spouting fountains. And then the other thing that most day guests don't realize is that your pass also gives you access to their events. So they'll have daytime games with prizes and pool parties, yoga classes, music, and you can participate in as much or as little as you like. The pool area spills out onto the beach, which is nice and wide with beautiful golden sand and lots of loungers with umbrellas. So a really nice way to spend a day in Puerto Rico. I've talked before about how nice old San Juan is. Definitely try to explore that if you can, but no trip to Puerto Rico is complete without a day at the beach. And this is a really nice and easy way to do so. Now to a very underrated island, St. Kitts and the Marriott Resort and Casino. And the day pass here usually costs between $60 and $65, and you'll get access from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the beautiful Frigate Bay Beach. Use of lounge chairs and beach cabanas, access to their three pools, including the main pool with swim-up bar, bathroom and changing facilities, free Wi-Fi, and while food is not included, you do get a 10% discount on anything you purchase. But the one thing that isn't included is towels, so bring your own if you can. So the resort is just a 10-minute taxi ride from the cruise pier, and you'll want to spend most of your time at the beach at this one. The water is perfect, nice and clear with just enough waves, and the stretch of sand is nice and big with permanent cabana huts, which is a unique touch, and those are of course included with your day pass. So just a couple of tips for this one. Because the resort is located on the windward east coast of the island, it can get a little bit windy, but the breeze usually feels nice on a warm day. And also, because tourism is still relatively new to St. Kitts, especially in comparison to many of the other Caribbean islands, there aren't as many resorts here as there are elsewhere. So this is definitely a rare day pass spot and a really great way to spend the day in St. Kitts. Sunesta Mayho Beach Resort on the beautiful island of St. Martin. And for $89, you could access from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to one of the best Caribbean resort day passes you can get, in my opinion, at the biggest all-inclusive on St. Martin. So your fee will include access to two pools, including their big signature oasis pool with water slide for adults, beach access with complimentary lounge chairs, all-inclusive breakfast buffet served from 9 to 10.30 a.m., all-inclusive 
exclusive lunch buffet or a la carte, your choice, and that's from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Daytime activities including water aerobics classes, use of snorkeling equipment, and complimentary Wi-Fi as well. So a really great rate for all you get. They have five dining options, and some have really nice ocean views, and the resort was renovated a couple of years ago, and it's just really modern and lovely now, both inside and out, and it's just 25 minutes from the cruise port, and that costs about $20 each way. Now I've left the best, or some people might think the worst, for last, but this is the very infamous beach that has the planes flying dangerously low, and because it's one of the only places in the world where airplanes can be viewed in their flight path just outside the runway as they land, it's become super popular with visitors, especially cruisers. But definitely more to enjoy here than planes flying three feet above your head. And I think it's one of the nicest and most affordable day passes you can get at a Caribbean resort. So now to the Westin Punta Cana, which has a $75 day pass from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and that includes pool and beach access, loungers, and lunch with a drink. So a pretty good deal, especially with food included, and definitely when you see what a nice property this is. The Westins all tend to be very attractive hotels and resorts, and this one is no exception. You've got a beautiful white sand beach with very powdery sand. There is seaweed though, FYI, but it's a very quiet beach because no vendors or motorized water sports are allowed, which is intentional to keep it peaceful. So that's definitely very unique. And the loungers are better quality than you'll usually see. And then a nice big oceanfront pool located in the middle of the main building's U-shape. And there is a pool bar, but unfortunately no swim up bar. But I still think it's a very nice pool with canopies and umbrellas all around for some nice shade. Your lunch is also going to be higher quality since health and well-being is a big focus at this resort, so lots of organic and locally sourced ingredients in their dishes. Now, if you're looking to get out and explore and have a more active day in Punta Cana, or if you want more of a party resort, this probably isn't a good option for you. But if you're looking to relax and enjoy a beautiful Punta Cana beach for a pretty affordable day pass price, you can get a really nice experience. Now to one of the most popular resorts in the Caribbean, Rio Montego Bay, which I've actually seen range in price for a day pass anywhere from $70 to $125. So for some reason, this one isn't really a set price. It varies by season. But for those of you familiar with this resort, you're well aware of how much you get when you stay here. So you get your pass from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if you're cruising in, it's a 20-minute taxi ride from the cruise port and you'll arrive to a huge adults-only all-inclusive resort, and you get a lot for the money. Beach access with sunbeds, lounge chairs and hammocks, and because they have jetties that provide a buffer against riptides, the water is usually calm and very swimmable. Then there's a huge pool where you can enjoy entertainment from their pool team with things like water aerobics classes, and it's designed in a winding lagoon style, so you never feel crowded in any one section, except for maybe be near the popular swim up bar which serves a full menu of beer wine and cocktails and that's one of three bars you can have unlimited all day access to plus you can also enjoy a delicious unlimited lunch either from the buffet at mayho bay restaurant which has a good variety of international and local jamaican cuisine or at the yummy jerk hut on the beach so you can try their famous and wonderful jerk chicken I've talked about it before, but this resort is so big that it can feel a little overwhelming, especially for just one day. But the upside of that is that you're getting a lot for the money with a wide, clean beach, very nice pools, and endless food and drinks. It's a really great and affordable way to spend the day in Montego Bay. So there you have the 10 best day passes to Caribbean resorts. And for those of you who've watched till the end, I have a bit of bonus information for you that I think you'll find to be helpful. So if I didn't specifically mention that a day pass was available on the resort's website, I'm sure you're wondering, where do I get them? So there are a handful of sites that sell them. I honestly have no preference as each of them have their own pros and cons. So first there's Resort Pass, which works with many of the bigger name chains like Hilton and Hyatt and the Four Seasons, Omni, and biggest of all, Marriott. That's the upside. 
The downside is most of their day passes are in the U.S. They have about half a dozen Mexican resorts and eight in the Caribbean, so not too many options through them. Then there's Daycation, which covers Kimpton, Fairmont, Marriott, and Hilton, among others. And some of their famous resorts where you can buy a day pass include Breezes Bahamas, the Westin Punta Cana, and Rio Montego Bay, both of which we just talked about. Then there's Day Pass, which is good if you're looking to spend the day in an all-inclusive or luxury resort. They have really good options for that, but they don't have many options in general. So they have a lot of options in the Middle East and Asia. Before the Caribbean, they mostly deal with Punta Cana and San Juan. And then you've got Resort for a Day, and right off I'll tell you that this option is only for cruisers. You have to put your cruise information in when booking, and they sell day passes for the Atlantis Aqua Venture Park and quite a bit all over the Caribbean, from Antigua to Aruba, Bahamas, Barbados, Jamaica, San Juan, St. Kitts, and even St. Lucia. So again, they offer the most in terms of options, but it's restricted to cruisers. So I just wanted to briefly review some of the better day pass booking sites for you guys to choose from. So there you have 10 day pass booking options, which will give you a sample of many wonderful resorts, whether you're cruising or island hopping or even resort hopping. And I hope this video helps you decide which one is the best fit for you. If you'd be interested in more cruise related resort options and reviews, I welcome any suggestions you have for that and anything else you'd like to see on the channel as well. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye guys.